I'm here today with Christina Yan or Succulents by KJ on Facebook. And I'm here, of course, buying succulents. Maybe about five years now. Five years. And what started you with growing succulents? We were actually at a lovely holiday with my partner. Uh, we went into the Hunter Valley for a lovely date night weekend and there were some beautiful Ioniums and some gorgeous vessels and they were just so stressed and looked so beautiful. So we asked the owners if we could take a cutting and they said, sure. And so now we have three pots of beautiful um, love succulents, as my partner calls them. And so they're not allowed to be propagated from or uh. touched in any shape <laughs> or form. They just sit there, do their thing. And that's what started it all, really. Succulents can be very addicting. It's a very expensive hobby, but very, very, very rewarding. So anyway, so do you mind if we go have a look at the greenhouse? Sure. Come on through. Hello there. My name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel growing succulents recently she had some weather we did incident so we happened here Luckily, this greenhouse is very well protected at the moment from the westerlies that we get here so nothing happened in here that would have been very devastating, but luckily that didn't happen. It's a bit of a mess at the moment. We're just hiding things out of the other greenhouses. And um, over here are her some special of my collections. Display plans. My, you can look, but you can't touch. No, and you don't, can't please. buy. Please don't, please. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Mexican giant. Look at this beautiful stuff. This is Bella. I love my Tacitus. Really uh, what is that one? one? I uh, have still to work on my labels. It's a bit of a longer name. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> longer names. <laughs> I like shortening the names. So she's got all sorts of succulents, of course. And look at that beautiful Hoveyi. Hello, Hoveyi. You got gorgeous Hoveyi. And this one is. <laughs> Don't ask me again. I just bought one. Yeah, you're looking in the right corner. I'll show you something really special. I'm still waiting for it to flower. It is Dutch yellow. yellow. The yellow apparently very, very rare and very hard to get. So <gasps> hopefully we'll be okay. able to offer them here on the regular. <laughs> I'm like, because I can't grow them in my area. I just uh, had one flowering at the moment. I think it's a Caroline or something and got hit by the frost. These are Hercules, isn't it? And I am obsessed with, is that Orpet? I love the shape. I don't know why. You say, oh, I love our pet. I love the shape. I love cubic frost. I love them all. Look at this gorgeous moon cactus. Or oh, we call it fantasy cactus here in Australia, isn't it? No, Anopla, you go there. I'm showing everyone my wind damage. <laughs> well, of course, but look how healthy they still look after the wind uh, threw them around. They, they are very, very sturdy. Should I go on the special corner? Oh, gorgeous. Look at this one. Beautiful. Oh, and <laughs> Super Rose. Not for sale. That's it, Super Rose. <laughs> Most people that I go to, they go, oh, that's Super Rose. Mm. Yeah, and they're not for sale. Okay, now this one is a special one. This is lovely rose, but it's blood rose. See those streaks in there? It's a little bit like jelly jam, isn't it? So we can call you the jelly jam of lovely rose. Look mm -hmm. at those beautiful red veining, gorgeous. Like even inside. Anyway, so not for sale, she said. <laughs> Every time I touch something, oh, this one too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said I'm not going to have any more. Um, I'm not going to buy. I'm not supposed to buy any plants until September. But I thought I'll just check out Christina's page. And of course, being a true succulent addict, I got sucked in and bought a whole heap of plants and now buying more. But this one's not for sale, apparently. It's Chambrac Palmi Fronts. Beautiful. Look at that gorgeous. Oh, oh, okay. You only need one to propagate, you know. <laughs> Nice try, yeah. nice try. <laughs> oh my goodness and over here is another special section the andromiscus mm -hmm. a lot of people are obsessed with andromiscus i know a couple of my friends who's going to be so 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 
envious now. We don't know the name of this one. I can't remember it. It's mm. a long name, but I will write it down. And also that one. Look at that beautiful mm. fatness. How chubby. Gorgeous. And this one as well. So <laughs> I'm not going to try and remember the name because I'm going to bungle it up. And this, uh, I've already got this one. This is a red form of Marine. And that one is, oh my goodness, I don't know what your name is, but you're beautiful. It's the red mutation of Marine. And this one, <laughs> of course, the standard hairy eye. And pretty in pink, or Tituban, Tituban, sorry, mm -hmm. pretty in pink, Tituban. Mm -hmm. And what else? Okay, oh, the jelly jam. Oh, yes, this is the best jelly jam I have ever seen. Look at this one. And there's also another one over there. Look at this beautiful jelly jam. Look at that. And look at this. What? How is that for a jelly jam? Can I take you home with me? You are beautiful. Oh, look at this gorgeous Margaret Rose. Oh, there's also another one called... Echeveria Roma, but once they hybridize it and from different countries, they normally give it different names. Oh, this one. Yes. Okay. Have you got some for sale? No, not yet. Not yet. But like, she's pretty. Yeah, she's that one gorgeous. is so gorgeous. <laughs> I just bought some major. This is a major, major. Sedum de Sifilum. Beautiful. Look at her. Look at that. Lavender pebbles. Gorgeous fatness. Hello. Oh my goodness, look at this lovely rose. Oh, okay, I have to put my lovely rose because my lovely rose, I started with one plant mm. a couple of years ago and then now, in my uh, experience, they're very easy to grow, but a lot of people are Absolutely. having a hard yeah. time growing them. So if you're having a hard time growing your lovely rose, come see Christina and she's got plenty for sale. Okay, and it's beautiful. And you might even have the chance of purchasing her bloody lovely rose or blood rose. Is that what it is? It is. That I got? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, look at you. Beautiful. Hello, gorgeous. Ruby blush. Is this ruby blush? Oh, now, this one is... Copper Canyon. I am obsessed me with my Copper Canyon. I know it's a common plant, but it's beautiful. If grown right, and the right season, of course, here in Australia, they actually go red. Don't discount a lot of the common plants. A lot of people kept buying all the expensive ones and rare ones like I do. But I always go back into the common ones. And now, talking about common ones, how's this for common? Oh, Christina. <laughs> No, that common at all. <laughs> yes. Adonian super bang. This is a super. Oh, okay. So the difference between, okay, the big bang and the super bang. You got a super bang for your buck if you get this one. <laughs> We're not going to talk about money here. I'm lucky because my husband is into fishing. So he buys a lot of expensive lures, like one lure for $20. And he normally orders like 20 at a time. So that's only one type. So it's the same thing with me. So I can go and buy succulents to my heart's content within my budget. So I'm the one limiting myself, not my husband. And I'm not supposed to buy anything until September. But I come here and then what do I do? I buy more. And then this one is Fiesta. Fiesta. Yeah. Fiesta. yeah. So, and Mardi Gras, Medusa. oh, Medusa. Okay, my Medusa right now is undercover and it's not growing, it's not coloring up very well, but that one just reminds me that I have to take my Medusa out. Smell I have to delicious. sniff them. Oh, oh, goodness. Okay, gorgeous. And this one is Porto La Caria Olera Seya something. I love, love, love my candy plant. So I call them candy plant. So she just had a big disaster. So that's why a lot of the plants are just sort of in their temporary area. Oh, look, I killed mine. Uh, I forgot your name. Oh, Sinisho. There you go. If you like Saigo cactus, they're all flowering at the moment. The best time to buy them is when they're flowering. I'm videoing, but my eyes is like looking, what else can I buy? What else can I buy? Look at this one. Oh, look at you. You're gorgeous. Okay, humilis. Is that the same one as a tiger? They call yeah. it tiger? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like a little bit of silk variegation mm -hmm. going on on that leaf over there. Oh, yes. <laughs> How grown. delicious do How they gorgeous, look? Yeah. Look at them. Beautiful. You're so cute and yummy, I could just eat you. And I haven't had breakfast yet. I better go because if I stay here too long, 
I might end up spending more. Ah, oh, that's the last purchase. And then now, let's go check out what I bought. Yamato Bini Cross Nodulosa is a beautiful plant, especially when they're grown. And yes, it is the last one I bought. So it's got two heads. So there's single heads there, but for the same price, I bought this one because it's got two heads. It's all about propagation, <laughs> propagation, and propagation. So all of these plants I bought from Christina or succulents by KJ on auction. So she has an auction every Tuesday night. It starts and then it ends on a Wednesday. So it's, I think, basically 24 hours that you can bid on the plants. And I was lucky enough to bid on these plants. And the reason why I got to her site in the first place is because I was after one of these, the Echeveria Trumpet Pinky Blue Foam. So apparently there's three different forms so i've got the pink one and this is the blue form and there's another sort of a roundish fatter one so i'm not sure whether which is which but someone sent me a photo of this and it's just so beautiful and i have been obsessing over this for a few months now and last february i was supposed to buy one for 30 dollars, but i changed my mind so i thought I'll wait and I got this at a bargain from the auction. It's much cheaper than what I'm supposed to pay for it had I bought it from somewhere else a few months ago. Beautiful Echeveria Trumpet Pinky. Gorgeous. Look at that. Gorgeous. Blue. Another blue plant. So another plant is Ionium Leucoble. <laughs> Leucoble Florum. Oh, this is a long name. Oh, my goodness. Why do they come up with so difficult names to pronounce? Anyway, oh, there it is. It's a Yemen form. And I paid only $12. Oh, well, I bid $12 on it. And I got it. Beautiful, beautiful Ionium. And it's got glossy leaves. Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's almost like an Echeveria. And quite thick for an Ionium. So stone plant collection. It looks like a stone plant and Evrachiola foleri. Now this one is, look, the cute little pale pink. I can't even say baby pink because it's really like pale, almost white, but it's supposed to go pink like that one on the photo there. But I think it might need to be exposed to the sun and I have been keeping them cooked up and haven't been watered as well so this was already bare rooted before and she just uh, I asked her to put it in the soil back again and so now that's why it's got a lot of wrinkly leaves but after soaking this for maybe a couple of nights then it will just plump up but I am keeping all of this indoors for now because it's winter here. Crassula plegmatoides Arta. I got an Arta, but this is a different form. So this is my Crassula Arta that was given to me by my friend Kanya. And it was only a small cutting like this. But this is about a year and a half ago. And now, look, baby, baby. Baby, baby. Oh, my baby. And then I'm just comparing the two. It's sort of the same and different. Maybe this one is just... Look, even the babies on this one is sort of elongated. So I don't know, maybe it's just, this one is not grown. Well, it's grown outside, but not really out in the full sun. So it's still sort of protected. And this one maybe just needs more light. I don't know, or maybe they're two different types. But nevertheless, I am going to put them in one pot and see what happens. This next one, I tried to bid on. This is Echeveria opalina. Well, actually, it's a big O. So I messaged her and saying, uh, we'll actually put on the auction uh, at next in line. So NIL, which I didn't know the meaning of before. And I have to ask someone <laughs> what nil means. And I put nil on it. And then she still got some available. So that I was able to buy it for the same auction price that the other one was sold for but and now i've got a big o and it actually looks like an achiveria champagne isn't it like one of the purple champagne i'm very happy with my purchases and i'll be happier more if i show you this one this is 
Oteroy. I just call this Oteroy for short because it's got a long neck. Chavria Setrosa variety. Oteroy. $10 or something like that. I paid for this one. But it's about to put out a baby, I think, or about to flower. But it's definitely got a couple of babies in the bottom there. So most people would probably sell you that small baby there for like $8 online but this one is a bargain so and i love the shape it's like a green or pet but these whole edges of the plant when grown properly like stress them out <laughs> grown properly stress them out yeah it turns like that color so imagine it green in the center with all red outside next one is another Ionium Luteo Varigatum. Okay, now I'm confused. I'm not sure whether I actually got this one or the other one as a plant that I bid on, but nevertheless, I ended up with another one. So this is a beautiful plant. It looks similar to the sunburst, but it's got different form. So it's more compact and beautiful. I like the variegation. It's sort of a light and dark, just a dark strip in the center so another bargain so most of these plants i got really cheap so it's really worth checking out her auction night on tuesday and you can bid on the plant and wait for it on a wednesday to fight it out with the other <laughs> desperados like i was so anyway this one is a wish list plant so i have a few sedum or sedum dasifilum and most of them have a label but the problem is apparently i did a video recently of my sedum dasifilum and someone pointed out that i haven't got the right sedum major and minor so now i have a minor but i don't have a major so finally i got the major and yet she also gave me a bunch of minor that I already potted up and is already attached to my display shelf. So the plants I bought can be sent through the post, but I opted to pick it up. So she's only like half an hour away from me. So I drove over and of course, as you've seen in the video, I get a chance to go into her greenhouse. And of course, when you go inside the greenhouse of a succulent cellar, you get to buy more succulents. So this is one of the succulent that I picked. It's uh, Ionium Marnie Le Apostol. Beautiful thick leaf succulent and Right now, it's, it's sort of closing off because it's stressed from not being watered. But when I got this a couple of weeks ago, it's more open. So it's got a few babies and of course, $12 bargain. I don't like using the word cheap, but she is very, very reasonably priced, put it that way. Reason so reasonable that it actually coaxed me into buying two more Echeveria. Laila Sina Cross Sarahimi Botan. I paid good money for my Sarahimi Botan before. I uh, bought somewhere else online, and these ones are a bargain. So I got two of them because she's only got two. If she had more, I probably would have bought more because I'm greedy. No, I'm not. I need three. So I want to put. The other one, which I've reported now, I'm going to put it into one pot and have three of them growing. The next one is sort of a bigger plant in a big pot. This is called a Echeveria Jack Flash, and it's also flowering. So this one, a bargain as well. So I would have paid more for this, for this size plant somewhere else. But from Christina, it is cheap, 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 cheap. Or should I say very reasonably priced and also now that it's flowering this flower is going to bloom very soon maybe another two weeks and that will open up but I can now harvest these ones like so just sort of push it down and ah, there you go this ones now I'm sure will by the feel of the succulent this will grow quite well or propagates really well hang on okay so anyway jack flash now i wonder what this would look like under my care or under my t-o-r-t-u-r-e 
I have been after this one for a while as well. So now I might be confused as to which is what, but I thought I bid on this plant as well. So, but never mind, I ended up with <laughs> a big plant because sometimes on the photo, I think I might have missed out on this one on the auction. Someone else got it, but I think I might have asked her if she's got another one. But anyway, this one's got another baby. So Echeveria Dusty Violet. It looks very similar to a Subsecilis or Morning Beauty. After seeing her Andrew Miscus collection, I was so excited that I really want to buy some from her, but she hasn't got anything for sale. But she has a few that are being propagated. So she was gracious enough to give me some of this, not give me, sold it to me. And I am very grateful for this one. So Andrew Miscus, Haliai, Oras Mountain it's called. And for $50, maybe she'll sell it to you cheaper or maybe she'll charge you more, but it depends on the size of the plant. So this is sort of a medium size. So if you get the bigger one, maybe she'll charge you an arm and a leg, which she should not, she shouldn't. But anyway, she's very, very reasonably priced. It's Andromiscus Tanqua. So this is the Tanqua now, Marine Tanqua. And look at that beautiful plant. And Chabi, look at that, gorgeous. It's, it's it's like, I don't know, I just love Andromiscus. So if you love Andromiscus too, then comment below and tell me why you love it so much. Because to me, I love them because of the different looks and the different fatness and the different... They're not boring plants. They're very interesting plants and that's why I like them. And to show you how interesting it is, this is another Andromiscus Marine V. Marine Clan William. This is the long one that I've shown on the video earlier, which I really, really, it's like a long tongue, isn't it? Like beautiful, almost if you put like a safety pin behind it, you can use it as a brooch. It is so cute. And this one, she was generous enough to give me, because she doesn't have any mature plants for sale. So she sold me this one that's growing and I don't mind because right now it is the growing season, the best time to buy Andromiscus. Next one is Echeveria Gaia 2. This one came with no label and I have a Gaia that died on me. It grew really big and all of a sudden for no apparent reason, it just decided to die. So I'm after one, but this one did not have a name. So she can't really exactly remember what it is, but to me it looks like a Gaia. So I have to write Gaia 2 from KJ. Now, last but not the least, this is the... Do -do 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 -do. Okay, this is the big surprise. Okay, we're gonna go drum roll. What do you think that is? <laughs> Yes, she sold me the big jelly jam. Beautiful. So I was going to get the small clustered ones or the clustered ones with more babies, but less colorful and less bigger. <laughs> so this is the biggest jelly jam she's got. And now I am so, 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 so happy. And I am going to put this in a very beautiful pot together with my jelly jam that I got from a good friend of mine, Joanne. So I'm going to put them all together in one pot and this one has got babies and I thought it's only got one babies. There's another baby hiding underneath there. So anyway guys, that's all for this video. So I hope you enjoyed this trip to a succulent or a local succulent grower and also uh, get to share with you where I get my succulents from. So go check her out on Facebook. This is only Australia, by the way. In other countries, sorry guys, just exclusive to Australia because of quarantine, or should I say strict quarantine laws that we have. Thank you so much for watching and hope I'll see you on the next video. I'm wearing black. He probably doesn't like. Come on. There you go. Fly. There you go. That's it. Go there. Go there. Go. Go. Down. Yes. He's out. Excellent.